Hi, welcome back to our learning of 3D game art again. In these sessions, I'm going to demonstrate the method of interactive skin weighting. From our last tutorial, you have learned the essence of how to paint the skin weight through the smooth by method within Maya. And being a follow up session, I would like to show you an alternate skin weighting option for your 3D game character through the functions of interactive skin by. Besides the usual workflow demonstration for our learning, I would like you to recognize the importance of skin weighting. For instance, let's look at this example. Say you didn't take the process of skin weighting to task, and you have accidentally forgot to weight these vertices of the given character. In the midst of hurry, you have passed this character to someone else for porting it into the game engine. You thought the problem would go away undetected, but unfortunately it won't go away as is shown in this example. The problem will resurface when it's being linked with the animation data. Please do take the task of skin weighting seriously. As we all know, weight painting is a tedious process, but it is worthwhile to put in the time and effort for getting it done. Alright, now let's head back to our demonstrations. The binding process for interactive binding is actually similar to the smooth bind. First, select the root of your skeletal join, then shift select the character mesh. Go to the menu and click on the interactive skin bind option. Simply reset the settings, leave everything in its default and click apply. Next, let's double click on the icon of two setting for interactive skin by. In here, you get to see the weight of the vertices and its extended range of inferences, which being represented via the color scheme of a heat map. Overall, its hierarchical workflow is quite similar to the method of smooth by, except that the interactive mode of binding uses the volume of a capsule to define a joint's inferences on its nearby vertices. By altering the capsule's sizing, you can interactively modify the weight of the nearby vertices that tied to a particular joint. Ok, to demonstrate its actual use for skinning a character, let's focus on this left arm joint. As you can see, the default skin weight for the left arm joint is not properly distributed. The inference of the arm joint is far too great. The waistline shouldn't be deforming when the arm is being raised. To fix it, simply activate the two settings for the interactive binding. Then, resize the capsule manually. By logic, the arm joint shouldn't have any direct inferences over the ear and neck areas. Overall, the adjustment of the capsule shouldn't take in that long, and once done, simply activating the rotation tool again, and try to articulate the arm joint. This time, we should be able to perceive a subtle range of deformations which work much better than it was. And if you try to articulate its counterpart, you will find that the adjustment that you have made on the left arm joint have also been mirrored over automatically. This mirroring feature will help to speed up our waiting process a lot. And like any other skin waiting method, interactive binding is not always perfect. As you can see, the weight of these tricep areas are currently being influenced by some other joints. In such occasions, we can always call on the default weight painting tool set and fix it on the fly. Once you have done with all the necessary fixes, we can always mirroring the changes manually to its counterpart. First, 
let's exceed the mode of weight painting and select the mesh. Go to the shelf and double click on the function of the mirror skin weight for opening up its option menu. Do ensure the mirroring axis and direction are correctly set before you clicking apply. If everything is set, just click apply and you should be able to see the changes immediately. In the process of weight painting, do you always remember to reset the posing of your character back to its default bind pose when you have done with it. I hope you will find this method to be useful and applicable to your work. And as you can see, a well-weighted character will make a difference in the virtual world. Thank you.